Thomas Galvas is one of the most purely skilled and highly creative defensemen in the entire 2024 NHL draft. He stands just 5 foot 10 inches tall, and we'll get to the issues that come with that, but the skating ability combined with the skill level he has simply makes him just a really exciting player for this year's draft, especially if he's a player that your team drafts in the middle rounds. He often never hesitates to generate momentum and carry pucks deep into the offensive zone to look for offensive chances. In transition, he puts his body between four checkers and the puck well to protect the puck as best he can to create entries. And to me, an interesting concept is defending the offensive zone well to prevent defensive zone play in the first place. And in my view, Galvis is a great example of this. He steps up from the blue line along the half wall, the pin pucks in the offensive zone often. He's just so shifty on the edges of his skates and uses that mindset and skill level so well to create different looks at the neutral and offensive zones that I think could be worked on further to really push Galvis's offensive potential. The mixed bag with Galvis comes on the defensive side of the game. He defends the offensive blue line and the neutral zone with pretty good anticipation skill and positional intelligence. This is also not a defender who is allergic to grinding play down along the boards, and this is notable especially for a player playing at the top division of Czech hockey. After causing turnovers, he gets the puck turned around quickly and creates space from pursuers, and the better at this that he gets, the more dependable Galvis likely will be. The downside lies where many smaller defenders' downside lies, and that's defensive zone play and close quarters defending on defensive entries. Galvis isn't really an elite skater laterally and does lack a certain level of strength necessary to be a dependable defensive player. At times he adapts to this with highly passive play when play is coming his direction, but skating development and refinement are going to be musts for Galvis to play his brand on NHL ice. Players with a level of momentum and determination simply blew right through Galvis in key areas of the ice that led to dangerous offense too often. And to me, that really makes it difficult to project him as well as his offensive game might suggest. Through all the ups and downs, my tracked data on Thomas Galvis largely is quite positive on him, especially for a top division Czech Pro League player. The fun moments for Galvis are just so much fun. And focusing on his downsides may may lead to overcorrections and unnecessary fear of what he might not be, and Galvis seems like as good a pick as any in the middle rounds of this draft if NHL teams are really balking at his defensive issues higher up. 